Hi, my name is Faith Johnson, and I'm from City Impact. Hello, Faith! And this piece is called 427 North 33rd. I walk by our old house, knowing that the front door is unlocked. I've just never been able to open it. Caught in this continuous loop of crippling fear, one memory sparks another. It's the quiet strum of one that leads to a chorus of crickets trying to fill my echoing emptiness with their music. Whilst they try, nothing can fill my void. Left behind because I was no longer as beautiful as the newest model, nobody wants a fixer-upper anymore. The abandoned house you left for dead, a demolition notice on the front door. Weeds and wildflowers are like my misery, tangling and strangling everything in their path, wrapping around my brain, growing out my windows, destroying my self-confidence. My gutters have overflowed with tears. My roof has come caving in. My floors are sinking. I can't hold myself up anymore. Help me, somebody help me. Am I not worth the same love? an affection as every other house. Was I not once just as beautiful? Didn't you tell me that I was perfect? Everything you swore you wanted, why? Why am I no longer adequate? Is it because my anxiety became a dementor, swallowing the lights from within, filling me with darkness, scaring away every happy thought? Or that I began to shock you with faulty electrical wiring known to short circuit your bill blazing through the roof? I tried everything to get you to stay, but the DIY tricks didn't work and the new furniture wasn't enough. And even the slightest remodel just made you ache for something new, something better. The memories would still be there. Painting over the walls didn't help hide the dents. The memories would remain like the stains on the carpet. Don't you remember the smell of homemade pumpkin pie greeting you at the front door? Don't you remember the nights on the couch laughing until we cried, wishing that the night would never end? Two peas in a pod, two birds in a nest, two hearts in one home. I remember thinking that that would never change. So I gave you a skeleton key to every door, but you... You kicked down the front door, ransacking the house slowly, room by room, day by day. You walked away from everything we built together and swore you still loved me. And I knew that you weren't coming back. So I picked up the pieces, I boarded the windows, I buried the key, and I burned the map. I didn't want anyone to find our old house. Yet still, even now, the front door is unlocked, in case you ever come back. Come home to me.